So, as I was working on my four end of your lists for 2020, Eminem decided to go ahead and drop a deluxe version to Music To Be Murdered By, the album that he dropped at the start of this year. Now, it is December 22nd when I'm recording this video, and the end of your lists are my main priority. I am not having any of them coming out in February or March of the following year this time. So this is just going to be a pretty quick video giving my overall thoughts on the deluxe because I know some of you guys wanted to hear what I think about it. This won't be a full in-depth review but just a quick dive into my initial thoughts from my first few full listens of the project. Ready? Let's go! Yeah, it's music to be murdered by again, why stop? Overkill like a pipe bomb in your pine box You all hits to my car So first, I want to touch on my current thoughts on the OG music to be murdered by before delving into side B. Simply put, it's an album that has grown on me a decent amount since my first listen. If you watch my first reaction to it, which is on my CDTV The G channel, by the end of the album, I had pretty mixed thoughts on it overall and thought that Kamikaze was better. But now that's something I disagree with. It's far from perfect, but if you look at it under the perspective of a legend in rap who really has nothing left to prove, just rhyming and flowing over a variety of beats because he can, it's a fairly fun listen. Obviously, there are tracks that aren't intended to be fun at all, like Darkness and Leaving Heaven, but even some of the darker tracks like that are very solid too, even if I do get more replay value personally from the less serious ones. For me, when I started looking at it like that, I enjoyed it more. That's not me excusing every single flaw the album has, I just personally enjoy it if I take it less seriously, don't expect a phenomenal album or one of the greatest albums Eminem has ever put out, and don't over-criticize the corny bars, like I did on my first reaction. This definitely had the corniest bars on this album so far. That's the shortest thing for a dress since an Addy. I said, I'm a candle. I'll go out if you blow on me. Getting head in the bucket. Long pause. Marshmallow. Oh, there was some there was some tough lines on that one, and not tough in a good way. I definitely went into say B with this perspective in mind, and it definitely made it easier for me to enjoy. How else would I be able to accept lines like you ever heard of Chris Christopherson? Well I'm pissed pissed offerson. He knows that's not witty, and he knows that literally means nothing, and I'm 99% sure he's just trolling for the sake of it, so why would I get mad at it? There's no point. And the song that's on, Tone Deaf, is very clearly intended to be crass and ridiculous and nonsensical with the sound it has, so lines like that are to be expected. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe I'm giving him too much credit, but I truly believe Eminem is self-aware and he's just saying corny lines like this to piss people off now. I mean, that's something he's done throughout his whole career. A lot of his persona is, I purposely piss people off. And I wouldn't be surprised if this was his way of doing it now. I could make orange rhyme with banana. or nana yeah, this man is just having fun at this point, and I'm gonna let it slide. With the context of who Eminem is, what he's given us already, and where he's at in this point in his career, I'm much more willing to just laugh along with how ridiculous some of his dad joke-like wordplay is, rather than getting annoyed at it. Now, as Side B is very much an extension to the original, despite having the length to be its own album, as is the trend for deluxe projects in 2020, much of the same praises and criticisms I have for the original music to be murdered by apply pretty perfectly to the deluxe. For example, if there is one problem with music to be murdered by, it's that it's pretty damn inconsistent, and that is something that absolutely transfers over to side B. I would love it if side A and side B were more consistent with this psychopathic slim shady alter ego and had more tracks in the style of Alfred's theme, Little Engine and Discombobulated. Just imagine a full album of songs in that style. It would make for an amazing focused piece of work in my opinion. But with the OG and Deluxe of this project, it seems more like he's trying to please every facet of his post-2009 audience 
at the sacrifice of consistency and cohesiveness. You have Book of Rhymes, which is a fairly good song, but definitely sounds like a leftover from the Kamikaze sessions, with production from Illa, who produced a fair few songs on there. He also references blowing himself up on that track, so I really think Book of Rhymes was made during his Kamikaze era. There's Higher, Guns Blazing, and She Loves Me, which sound right in line with Recovery, Discombobulated for the Relapse fans, Black Magic sounds a bit like Recovery, Recovery mixed with MMLP2, there's a little bit of everything in there. Really, the main thing that's new with all of music to be murdered by is hearing Eminem going over a bigger variety of mainstream beats. Yeah, I made a grip, I know it's tough to grasp. Get the bag, call it potato chips, I stuff in duffel bag. I want you to change, but don't change. I want you to grow, but don't age. I want the rage, but don't get too angry. I want the new, but old shady. They come at me with machine guns, like trying to fight up a net. Still stacking my chips, ho. Higher than Shaq on his tiptoes. And speaking of that last song I just played, Nat, the beat switch is on there. Holy shit, Eminem absolutely floats over the last beat on that track. I've replayed that single part so many times since the deluxe dropped. I'm still totally inappropriate with an opiate groping it while I'm holding it like a trophy. I'm hoping a little codeine will give me OD and woe everything. I don't care if the rhyme scheme is very rapid to rap, that flow is so smooth. At this point in his career, I don't know if Eminem is ever going to drop another project that's fully focused on one particular style of sound or one particular theme or concept. But that's something that now I've mostly accepted and I'm pretty okay with it. Would I like if Music To Be Murdered By stuck much more tightly to its concept and focused on his Slim Shady alter ego more and was more tightly crafted? Definitely. But as someone that's been an Eminem fan for over a decade, I'm pretty happy with a decent handful of tracks that I can just replay over and over again from this deluxe. I don't think the deluxe is amazing, but as an Eminem fan, I can always appreciate getting a chunk of replayable songs from him every now and then. And honestly, if I combine my most enjoyed tracks from the original and the deluxe version, I still have an around 19 track long, fairly solid album. It is worth noting that only 8 of those are from side B, whereas 11 are from side A, because while the deluxe never reaches the low points that the original music to be murdered by got to, it also never quite reaches the high points of the original music to be murdered by. The biggest highlights here were definitely Alfred's theme, Nat, Zeus, and Discombobulated, with Alfred's theme and Discombobulated being the absolute peak of this deluxe version. Those songs are incredibly fun. Music to be murdered by and its deluxe are not perfect, but it's pretty good to hear Eminem just having fun and doing whatever he wants. I'm not 100% sure because I don't think he spoke on it recently, but just from the sounds of the music, it sounds like the most fun he's had making music in a while, and that's pretty cool. After all the music he's given us in his career, I can sit back and accept that. Although if Eminem does want to give us one really conceptual, well put together album before his career ends, I would love that. Thank you. Still totally inappropriate with an opiate groping it while I'm holding it like a trophy I'm hoping.